this and you won't understand what exactly I'm saying. What I'm saying is that my husband doesn't do anything for me anymore. He doesn't give me money for food, no money for clothes. He doesn't give me anything. He doesn't even take care of his responsibilities in that house anymore. Grace, what's the use of all these complaints? What's the use? How do you mean? Hey, now, because wasn't it you that came here to my house like three months ago crying down this house that your husband has lost his job? So what? Hey, so where do you expect him to get money to buy all of these things that you have explained to me today now? All these things you're nagging about, where do you expect him to get the money to buy them from? Huh? How is that supposed to be my problem? Doesn't he have savings or something? I don't know. You should tell me. He's your husband. Can't you go out and get another job? <laughs> Grace. Do you know how hard it is for anybody to get a job in this town now? And your husband goes out every day looking for a job there at night. You see his father he has not gotten a job. Ha. Huh. This is not the Grace I used to know. I don't know what has happened. You have really changed. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flora, please. Do not insult me because I came to your house. So you want me to? So because I came to confide in you now, you you you, you want to put the blame on me? That's not the point. You want me to write? I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. You didn't tell me the truth. No, you did. I told you the truth. Was I wrong before? You why can't you find a job to do? Uh, something to do now. Uh, something to do now. Oh, 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 I made nice things, Sha. <laughs> I made you something nice too. Really? Sit down. <laughs> I can't sit down. Sit down. Yes. You know, I try to find something that you would like on a day like this. Leonard. Went to the north and south and east and west. I couldn't get anything as beautiful as a flower I got for her. I got you a beautiful flower. I don't like flowers. You sure? I like flowers. This little flower. What is in the Ah, uh, Close your eyes. I love you. That one is open. Okay, okay they're closed. <laughs> okay, that's your flower. Happy birthday. Oh, yes, it's your car. Happy birthday. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, on a day like this, um, I know that my wife deserves the best. Best, yes. Um, this is just a tip of the iceberg, and I know that in the coming days we're going to have the big one. I want to say a happy birthday to my wife. I want to say a happy birthday to my girlfriend. <laughs> I want to say a happy birthday to my mother, my everything. <laughs> um, above all, I want to say a special happy birthday to the woman who has stood by my side all of these years, pushing me, urging me on. <laughs> Don't be really happy for oh. mm. mm. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so we can marry you. Okay, so now I can cut my cake. Oh, yes. I'm just going to say my wishes. It's your day. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Thank you. So one. Okay. Two. Three. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
Junior himself, right? I know that. He's not giving enough email. I hope he's not jealous. Junior. Oh, right. So, um, <laughs> do we do this? Do we do this? Nobody sounds like what you have said. No, we'll go about it. Oh, no, no. Take that, yes. Giving money like I'm a beggar. It's, an insult. it's not their fault. If not for that stupid gozay that I married, I can't live up to his expectations as a man. What all this needs to happen. Me. 5,000 men. Ah. Hi, darling, you're back. I heard your voice from inside and uh, you're not happy. You got you upset. Come on, darling, I'm talking to you. Get your hands up here and stop calling me down. Flora, look at you. You have a wealthy husband, a lucrative business, and all the good things in life. Just a few days ago, your husband bought you a branch new car. But Flora, yes. look at me. I have absolutely nothing. Nothing like this one thing. I don't have anything. Please take it easy. Take it easy. Ha! Ah, I've always told you, take it easy. Everything is going to be fine. Hey. When will that be, Flora? Soon. When? When I die of hunger? You will not die of hunger. Every day I wake up and regret ever getting married to that stupid god for taking Gozi of a man. Hey! Jesus, Father, forgive her. She does not know what she says. Ah, Grace, don't say things like that. The people are looking for husbands with problems. After everything, you'll be fine very soon. Oh, so what should we call you now? Fair weather wife? Look, Flora, you can call it whatever you want. Call me whatever you want. I don't care. I am tired. I'm tired. I understand, but everything will be fine very soon. I promise you, by God's grace, this God is not sleeping. Very soon, okay? Ah, final plan, you can shout, shout. Everyone will be quick. Be a smart, what's your problem? Right, you don't understand. So, I have not anything you want. Pick huh? <laughs> anything you want. Anything you want to do. Right, if I start picking things in this your shop, I will pack it. Pack now. You can't you ever bring a uh, bag for your auntie. At least that will make you smile. I will bed today now. I'll come back tomorrow and beg again. God forbid. Have a that can provide. God forbid. God, you are not a beggar in Jesus' name. Uh -uh.
There's a very, very big problem. Big problem. What is going on? Flora, what I'm about to tell you right now is going to shock you to your bone marrow. What is it, man? You're scaring me. Talk. What is it? I went to an eatery this afternoon. Uh -huh. Guess who I saw? Who? Flora, I saw Leona with another woman. Your husband. Hi, Grace. Flora. Grace, you scared me now. Ah, my husband works with women now. What? Flora. Leona and this woman were kissing, hmm? feeding each other ice cream, doing all sorts of things in this restaurant. Too. I be this itchy. Hmm? Everything. They were hugging, promoting, doing everything. Hmm. My dear. Who? My husband. Flora, I saw Leonard with another woman. Your husband. <laughs> Leonard. Kissing and feeding a girl in an eatery. No. Flora, I ah. was so ashamed when I saw them. I was disappointed. I swear. What is me? Grace, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Because I know the trouble you have been through today. And thank you for watching my back. But it is not your not. You know, sometimes this thing has happened to me too before. There's a way you look at somebody from an angle, eh? You just look at somebody from an angle, and the person looks like someone you know exactly. I'm sure someone that looks like Leonard, and maybe from the angle you are standing, you know, maybe the side view or something. I thought it was Leonard. But you know, you know Leonard now. Oh, God forbid, it's not Leonard. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Flora, I saw your husband with another woman. I left everything I had to do today to come here to tell you. I had to rush to the house. Born here, I had to take Okada. Everything I had to do, I've not done, I've not done anything. And you're here telling me I don't know what I saw. No, Abby, it's not your fault. I'm not saying you don't know what no, you saw. No, my saying. eyesight is bad now. No problem. I, I don't talk like this now, please. I don't like it. That's me. Abby, I said. No, it's not your fault now. I'm an idiot. I didn't say so. I didn't say so. I'm just saying. Come now, run for your house. Five fifteen. She told me this meeting had been cancelled. Tonight. Now that means I have to get on the next available flight to Port Harcourt. Is that all? Uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll come. I'll be there. Oh, yes. <laughs> the law not even starts. No, I'll be there. No problem. I said so, but Lawrence just called 
They say that the meeting is holding tonight. Uh, so, uh, get the cashier to raise some money for us. We have to leave for the airport immediately. Okay? Okay, that's it. All right. Yes. And come, come. You have a network on your phone. I've been trying to call my wife. No, sir. No, sir. My phone is showing the same thing. It's showing limited service. All right. Get your money. So bad today. <sighs> and then all the phones, all the networks. Sam, I, 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 I feel your pain. Just oh, calm down, sorry. okay? Hey, yeah, no. hey, 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 business meeting with my business colleagues in Port Harcourt. I tried to call you, but your line would not connect. I'm really sorry. No, you're not. Very impressive. You're extremely clever. A well thought out tale. It's clever. Are you telling me that you don't believe me? Perhaps. The date you were on yesterday with some mysterious lady required an extended business appointment also. Huh? Damn it. How did you know about that? Hmm? Oh, yes. The lady in question is my new chief operating officer. Okay? We just went for lunch. You're mad. You 
So now then did it become fashionable for you to go to lunch with your chief operating officer, eh? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, let me also drag this. Mirabel. What's her name? By virtue of her office, she should go with me to most of my business meetings. You should know that. So please, I'm sorry. And even that night you called, she was the one that picked your call. But by the time I got to the phone, the battery had gone down. And we were going in for the meeting. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, my baby. I'm sorry I won't hurt you. <coughs> Wait a minute, not so fast. That reminds me. This water court meeting you talk about now, you called me, Luna, to tell me it was cancelled. Do you remember? Yes, I called you. Oh, yes, I did. I told you the meeting was cancelled. I was actually preparing to come back home when Lawrence called to tell me that the meeting must hold that night. I immediately tried to call you, but your number wouldn't go through. I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Leonard, are you sure that you do not have anything ongoing with this woman? <laughs> What's funny? Listen, sweetheart, I would never ever, ever do such a thing to my beautiful wife. Hmm. Tell me now, Lena. I can take it now. Tell me now. If, if there is anything, let me know now. Hmm. If you want me to repeat that a million times, I will. I'm sorry, Faith. Go on. It's all right. Fine. But, but you know, Lena, please, I beg you, let this never happen again. For crying out loud, you know how scared you got me. No calls, nothing. Why don't you at least send a text? Okay, whatever, the phone went up, at least, this is why I always insist on you taking your, 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 your battery, your charger, or whatever, with you anytime you travel. It's okay. Can I say this? This will never, ever happen again. Don't smile. Come on, man. And there's Junior. Is he? That boy has missed you. He's been asking for his daddy all, all, all night. How could you even be here in this house by myself? Why did you want to go? serious level of changes in the office and, you know, in our entire general business activities. Oh, great. Um, she's been quite professional, really. Okay. Um, so... She's good? Oh, she is. 
Okay. All right. So. So in other words, my husband is squashing all competition. Ah, uh, <laughs> can say that again. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So what do I owe this? Uh... No, 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 no. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I just thought I should drop by and see my husband. And now that I have, I'm out of here. Grace, you know I really regretted it. Especially after my husband explained everything that happened to me. Do you know I actually even went to his office today to see this girl for myself? And the girl I saw in his office is actually very gentle, innocent looking, and extremely well behaved. A very good girl. Well, I believe that was a very prudent move. Yeah, men can be very deceptive. No, 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 no. Not my husband. No, not my Leonard. You know, I shouldn't have been so quick to even judge him in the first place. No. Flora! Open your eyes and see! This is the second time I'm telling you this thing. Girl, you need to wake up. You're not the same flower I used to know. Another woman is out there trying to snatch your husband from you and you're here talking about gentility and innocence. Flora. I saw that woman kissing and feeding your husband in public. Does that sound gentle or innocent to you in any way? Does it? <laughs> Don't say I didn't want you. Do not say I did not tell you. I hope I'm not the one pursuing you. Oh, no, 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 no. I was actually about to leave before you, you came in. It's okay. All right, let me see. No, sweetie, just stay back and take care of yours and I'll, I'll see myself out, okay? Thank you. All right. All right. Your friend looked worried. Is there any problem? What business of yours is that? Hmm? Ah, sorry. Why is the cream I asked you to buy for me? So how do you expect me to buy a cream when I tried the entire city looking for a job? Okay, since you couldn't branch at the supermarket to buy it for me, give me the money, let me go and buy it by myself. Where do you expect me to get the money from? Meaning? Meaning I don't have money. What is your problem? What kind of a woman are you? Instead of you asking me or showing me to the dining table, you are here talking about money, money, money. Hey, just, 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 just hang in there! I don't have time for all this your rubbish today, okay? Just give me the money for the cream, let me go and buy my cream. Come on, you're not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. Give me more. I said leave me alone. I said leave me alone. You don't have any other option. You are not going anywhere. You are bearing me alone. You don't give me the money. Grace, you are bearing me alone. What will you do? What will you do? Give me money for cream, you don't give me money. You can't see my father before you might be. Leave me alone. Okay, just give me the money out. Give me the money out. You don't give me the money out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Give me the one. Day. Yes. <laughs> oh no, not Thomas Dallas. How is Japan? Oh, good, good, good. Good. Well, Nigeria is fine. <laughs> you know, you know where these things are in this country. Okay, that will be wonderful. I will expect to you. Yes, sir. And, uh, yes, yes, but, but you know what I'm going to do, sir? When you come in, I'm going to check you into an exclusive hotel and take good care of you. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. I will be waiting, and I thank you so much for this call. Thank you so much, sir. I'll be waiting to see you in two days. <laughs> All right, sir, thank you. Mr. Douglas is coming in a couple of days. Um, I want those documents ready, 
All right? I don't want to miss out on this deal. I'm sure you know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have the documents ready. Oh, they're ready. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Yeah. Should I get them? All right. Let me see. Peter. Peter. So you're here sleeping while others are attending lectures. Tell me, why didn't I see you at school today? I, um, I'm so tired, I just need what? to rest, really. What? What makes you tired? Peter, what is wrong with you? Why don't you want to help yourself? Okay, you're from a wretched family. And your poor parents are in the village, borrowing money here and there just to pay your school fees. And here you are, lavishing the money. Hey, 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 you better watch it, okay? That particular statement I don't find funny at all. Oh, come off it! Look, I'm only concerned because you're my boyfriend. Hmm? You know what? If you don't change, you will only end up regretting your life. And if you don't keep away from those cultist friends of yours, they will destroy you because you're not of the same class with them. If they get into trouble, their rich parents will save them. But you? <laughs> Nobody will come looking for you. The word is enough for the wise. Keep sleeping.
있는 데 Keep your greetings to yourself, you need to it. Excuse me, ma'am. Not even one more word from you, you cheap slut. Miss, I can wrap him around my little finger whenever I want to. You think you can come in here and rip where you did not sow? Now let me sound this warning to you. The next time I see you anywhere close to my husband, even that much close to my husband, I will rip you apart. Can you hear me? I will show you the tigress in me and I will practically rip you apart. I will make sure that this town is too hot for you to stay in. Do you understand me? Be very, very careful. Be very careful, you cheap slut. My God, for how long has this been going on? Two weeks. Two weeks? For two weeks I've been in turmoil. You know, I uh, may be hot, but I'm thinking of sucking Mirabel. Oh yeah. Um, if that will bring peace to my family, I will do it. Yo, that's being callous. That young lady has added enough feathers to your success. Within her short stay in your company. Moreover, that will arouse Flora's suspicion even more. She will think you've hidden her away so that two of you can continue with your romance. Listen, friend, a clear conscience fears no accusation. Let Mirabel be. Soon Flora will find out that you are innocent. When? I mean, when will she find out that I'm innocent? Uh, until the family is torn apart. Confused. Confused. Yeah, you don't have to be confused. Listen, if you sack Mirabel, then get ready to sack all the girls that work for you. Because tomorrow your wife might wake up and start accusing you of sleeping with all of them. She wouldn't dare to. Then be a man. Come on, drink up. You know, Grace, I'm beginning to think maybe my husband has been innocent after all. Well, if you say so. But I'll tell you this, men are not to be trusted. I can't imagine myself sit back here and watch my friend lose her husband. God forbid. Okay, I have a suggestion. That's if you're okay with it. What, what suggestion? There is this place I can take you to tomorrow just to double check, okay? Grace, please. Yes. <sighs> what kind of place? Don't worry, you find out everything you need to know when we get there. As I speak. Mirabel has tendered her resignation. What? Oh, yes. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to deal with my wife. No, you don't have to do that, Leo. Listen, you don't have to do that. You have to take things easy. Listen, if you take a drastic action, you might need to regret it. Come on, Leo. You have to find a way to pacify Mirabel, to accept back her job. Come on, that is what you have to do. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Are you okay now? Come on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, I mean, what is... Are you very sure about this guy? Please, of course, I'm very scared. I've never thought something like this before, you know. Flora, you worry too much. Look, I've told you, this guy is going to do a very, very clean job. I've seen people here has done this kind of thing for before. Even that lady I told you about that lives in Abuja, he did the same thing for her. Ah. 
think this guy can actually go to Abuja to do this sort of job. If you're willing to sponsor the trip, he will even go to America. Anyone you need to go to. That's good. That means he's actually an expert. Don't worry. Wait until he starts doing the job and then you see the results for yourself. <laughs> but let me warn you again. It requires a lot of money. What is money? Eh? Okay. Grace, what is money? We're talking about my marriage here. Yeah. Because you know Leona there, eh? he, he thinks I'm very naive. If I don't catch him red-handed, he'll keep denying this thing. Eh? He'll keep denying this thing. He thinks I'm a baby. An hour. One hour. One hour. You know what? If you get tired of um, you know staying at home and get tired of waiting, take my keys, go to your house, and come with you. And well, you have to. Oh, yeah. You have to, okay? I'll be with you. I got and you know what? Stay out of trouble. No. Okay? That's me. Okay. Ah! Hey, Rex. What's up? I'm good, I'm good. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm my friend. Hi. This is my friend Flora. Flora. Peter. Hi. Hey guys. Yeah, how are you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Good. Hi. So, um, Peter, we can't talk here. We have to go somewhere private. Right. Yeah, are you free? Okay. What we want for you to follow him everywhere he goes. Okay? We need evidence of all the girls he's hanging around with. So alright, um that will require lots of money because I will need to be chattering, you know, different cars at different times. Yeah, um Peter, alright. That's not a problem, okay? I will give you anything you, you need, any amount of money you require, but now listen. The case I want you to get on right away is that of a particular girl. Her name is Mirabel and she works at my husband's office. Now I want you to follow them and catch them red handed. I want evidence. Okay? okay. I want raw evidence of this girl and my husband. Okay, um, that will require his office address, his carpet numbers, his phone numbers and demands photographs. My husband is not the man. You can address him as Flora. I'm sorry. All right, fine. I'll give you everything you need to aid your job. Everything. So how much? Well, um... A hundred and fifty thousand naira for starters. Okay, a hundred and fifty thousand naira? Yes, I mean, do you know the logistics involved here? You know I need to be chattering cars, I need to be getting into hotels, I, I need to pay lots of people to do this business for okay. me, I'm not doing this alone. Okay, no problems. I'll, I'll give it to you. Cool. What, you want it by now? I know you want the business done immediately, right? Yeah, okay. Our home is broken Love used to be here before but there is no love anymore Oh, it's broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away Our home is broken Let's face the truth
Okay, the documents. Um, okay, okay. Well, I thought you left with them. All right, let me check. Let me check. Let me throw them in the office. All right, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Job, I don't get paid, that means you don't get paid too. You understand?
those ladies? Yeah. Uh, they're my friends. Your friends? Yeah. How do you mean? What's this? What do you what do you mean by hard mean? Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you monitoring me? Or were you spying on me? What? The commenters are telling you to stop that attitude. What's that? No, you should stop it. Peter, you don't have to walk out on me. Look, you have to tell me who was like a Maybe. You must tell me who. my business but Grace I have to ask you this question. What is it? I mean why are you bent on you know destroying Florence's marriage really? That's not my business. No no no, no it is my business because I'm the one doing the job for you. Thank you assist I will tell you. Flora and I have been friends since our secondary school days. But she made me take it I've been with him for a very long time now and you know, he's nice and all scary and but Jim, hey oh god, James has mad money. Oh my god, he has mad money and he's going to be able to take care of me and buy me everything that I want, you know, take me places. As in, I'm really confused, I don't know what to pick. Are you done? Oh, they are done? Yes, I'm done. Okay. See your mouth, eh? James has mad money. He, he can buy me this. He can buy me that. He can buy me that. that, 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 that. Ha! I don't know what you're trying to do. You have been dating Gose for a very long time. How long now? What, two years? Come on now. I know him. Your family knows him. We all know where he got his money from. Okay, maybe he's not buying you everything you want in this world. But at least he's trying and he's meeting your needs. He has a promising future. He has a good career. He's a professional. You yeah. know. But this James now, all of a sudden, he has mad money. He's doing mad this. money. No, but the annoying part is we don't know where he's getting his money from. I don't know him. The family does not know him. Nobody knows this guy. Yeah, I know him. We made his money abroad. Though. You don't know him. You know his money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the same thing. But at least I, you know, at least I'll get to know him. Yes, who do you know him him or his money? Both of them. I like what you're No, 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 seriously. So you really think it's your choice? No, it's your choice, your choice Shabu. If you ask me, oh, seriously. I think you're better off with Gose. You guys have been consistent now. So you're saying now that I should marry Gose? Yes. I'm 
Because I didn't go to work for those three days I was in your village carrying your mother from one hospital to the other. But you should have explained all that to them now. Didn't you tell them? I did. But they wouldn't take it. Why? It's one of the company's policy. No one misses work for two consecutive days. So you knew about it? Should I have allowed your sick mother to die? Your father. Sorry? Expect me to be wallowing in poverty while she is in Athens. No. But oh, come on, come on. I mean, you're still not enough to justify your present action, really. Oh, Peter, that's not my business. Why are you going soft all of a sudden? You've been paid for this job, okay? So just do it. Alright, slow down, relax, okay? Take a chill pill, okay? Uh, yeah. A share of this present deal. So where are you headed to now? Well, I'm off to see my workers. <laughs> what does it mean? Alright, take care, yeah? Okay. So don't forget. Uh, no problem, we're not Alright, right, take care. Welcome, Mr. Our room is broken. Love used to be here before. But there is no love anymore. Oh, it's broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away right. Our home is broken Let's face the truth It's broken Just for me, the no, my Did you Did you I thought I've told you time without number to stop calling my line. What is it? You only venture or whatever you're called, I don't care to know. What? God, I said I'm not coming again now. Is it my boss? Please just let me be. How? Oh. Was that why you paid me 30,000 naira after sleeping with me? No way. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, 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 oh. You wait as well as pay the hotel bill without consulting me, right? Now listen and listen to the owner of the barrack. Go back to the hotel and collect whatever money you pay them because I'm not coming. All thanks. Thank you. What is it again? Imagine the idiots. Yeah. I know what you came here for. Things are like those cheap parts you used to pay against people. There's no money. Let's go to your home. Man, I'm really upset. Let's get out of here. Just let me finish. Let's get out of here. Oh. Sorry. You know, I really wonder why a man will have a woman like you as a wife as they cheat. You trust me when I say you one gift, one miracle. Very 
Yeah. Um, so I guess um, I'll just give you a moment. Now. From now on, I want to work for you without a price. What? Right. I mean, it's just my debts to you. No, you don't owe me anything. You work so hard. You tell you deserve your pay. You're wonderful. Stanley did always come to the school. Um, I expected you to introduce me to her properly, but you didn't. Why? And I keep telling you, I've told you before, now I'm telling you again she's my friend's wife. Um, which of your friends? And uh, what business do you have with her? <sighs> okay, here we go. Look, um, Her brother-in-law, you know, my friend's younger brother, uh, is a jabite, okay? Now, my friend is quite busy, so she is taking care of my friend's younger brother's affairs. Now, himself being a jabite, he wants to gain admission into our school, so I'm helping out. Simple. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, baby. I'm sure you know I got you. 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 Baby. And forever you are gone. And forever you are gone. I thank you, Lord, you are gone. And forever you are and forever you are I thank you, Lord, you are home. What is all this noise for? I and said, what is all this noise for? <laughs> if it is because of this rice that I'm eating, I promise you're not going to taste the grain out of it. <laughs> Come on, darling, just give me food, let me eat. I have good news for you. Hey! Which God. food? God. This rice that I borrowed money to cook. I so you are not going to taste it. And what is the good news you can bring? Holy, holy, and forever you are. Okay, darling, you are not going to give me any food, okay? But now, listen, let me tell you. Remember some time ago I told you I submitted an application to Global Oil Servicing Company, PLC. And now listen to the good news. I have been given a job as an assistant marketing manager in the southwest region with mild world trade salary of 36 million naira per annum. It is God. Hey! I thank you, Lord, you are holy. Oh, and forever you are God. Bye bye to poverty. Ah. I thank you, Lord, you are ho, eta, 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 and forever you are. Wait, let me show you. You think I'm joking, eh? <laughs> this God, this God, this God. I thank you, Lord, you are ho. Darling, just look at it. And forever you are God. And forever you are God. I thank you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God. Bye bye to poverty. You are. Thank you, Lord. You are holy. And forever you are God. Forever you are God. Oh my 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 God. Oh 
Wow. So you mean Gozi got a job and that's why I come here? <laughs> Sweetie, I still can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You better believe it, actually. Thank you very much. Thank you. So where is he now? Well, it's their game day today, so he's out at the club, you know, for his night. Mm. Just having fun, yeah? Wow. That's nice. Really nice. <sighs> Grace. Yeah. I have a problem. What is it? You have another problem, despite the one I had. Um, it's Peter. Peter? Yeah. What's about him? Um... <laughs> you know, all of a sudden, the way I'm actually getting very fond of that guy it stops me. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're beginning to fall in love with him. Please don't. I don't know. <laughs> Flora! Shh. Stop. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Anyways, all I would say is. If that's what you really want, it's your life, so it's what you want. So that's all you have to say? Yes, no, it's your life. Okay. That's all you have to say? Yeah. Good friend. Oh, Very good friend. <laughs> Come on, Peter. Oh, okay. This is funny. Sorry, darling. It was a very, very, very late meeting I had. And. And I guess this was the bone of contention in this business meeting. <laughs> a lipstick stain on your shirt. You know, Leonard, if you're going to tell me a lie, at least make an effort and tell me an intelligent lie. I don't even care what you do with your life really right now. You can actually go back to wherever you came from. Just make sure you're freaking along the door. More than that, they discussing. I suspected that something was going on between them. But you know, you have to talk it over with him. I have already done that yesterday. Yes, and he keeps telling me the same thing. Look, the way we just spent money, a lot of businessmen don't. I mean, I'm very sure that one is funny him with money. I'm sure. So, tell me, what are you going to do about it? Idiri, you're still asking me. Of course I'm going to do everything I have to to know who that woman is. Even if you take the last drop of my blood, I will. <laughs> well, anyway, um, Professor Sani's class um, is in the next 30 minutes, so I have to rush down to the hostel to do a few things um, and get back the time. Are you going? Of course, no. I don't have the strength. <laughs> I'd rather wait. Take it easy. I'm well, okay? Huh? <laughs> Are you not making an auntie, girl? <laughs> so that's the big racket, man. For Peter. Oh. I think her husband is innocent. And what's your business? Don't you get it? If she understands that her husband is clean, that means no more deal, no more dough. Look, we as young men, we just need to extract money from her heavy purse. Don't you understand? We need it. I can even go the extra mile of making her my sugar mommy, you know. Peter. Huh? Yes, that's my name. What are you talking about? And don't even start acting up, man. What's your problem? Look, when you see a rich woman, what do you do? 
You suck her dry. That's the game. Yeah, she's the one calling, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, dear. Flora. Okay, okay. Um, I'll meet you up, huh? Okay. Alright. Mama, man, she's waiting for me somewhere. I got this. Fit away, bro. You know who you are. You are a smooth operator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> smooth operator. Well, the reason why I suggested uh, we get a room here instead of being at the bar is because um, what we have to discuss is quite confidential. I mean, there are people at the bar and you don't want people putting us together and then in the end blowing up the coffin. You understand me? I know, I understand. So, can we get through with this now? You ready? Yeah. Good. Your husband has been having an affair with a particular lady in his office. Yesterday, to be precise, he picked her up 12 p.m., took her to an eatery. I followed them. And trust me, they stayed there over two hours. The mood wasn't just friendly, but beyond friendly. Are you okay? okay? You need to calm down. Yeah. I need to calm down. Just take it easy, okay? Calm down. What am I doing? How could I even allow myself to think about this? Not to talk of doing it. How could I sleep with this guy? Jeez. But he's such a wonderful person. Very sympathetic, caring. Oh God. This is wrong. But does Leonard even deserve my fidelity? Especially after all these several affairs with different ladies. No. He doesn't deserve me. He deserves this. He deserves this. Sorry. All of what happened wasn't intentional. Look, as a matter of fact, I was drunk. Hey, I didn't... Please. Not today, okay? Spare me your whole sermon. Our home is broken. Love has to be here before, but there is no love anymore. Is broken. Our home is broken. We used to be happy every day, but happiness has gone away. Our home is broken. Wow.
You look different. Uniquely different. So, you like? I love everything. <laughs> What have I done to deserve all What, um, the lunch? And, um... <laughs> well, I don't know. It's just my own little way of saying thank you. You know, for everything you've done so far. Actually, for your job well done. And I say, thank you, you're welcome. Okay. You know, it really fascinates me why people do not value their priceless treasure. You're beautiful, you're wonderful. You're full of passion and uh, I must say you are very, very delicate to be going through this present emotional trauma. I look at your face and I see a rose that should be handled with care so as not to wither. Sincerely, I wish I were him, you know. Gosh. <laughs> Those are really nice things to say. You're welcome. Pizza. <laughs> Your words could actually melt a nice block, you know? Really? <sighs> you know, my husband has not always been like this. Actually, he used to be, he used to be very, very loving. We actually were the envy of every couple we came across. <laughs> but everything changed, you know. A couple of months ago, everything has changed. I don't know if it's the success or... You know, we're much happier when we're less successful. I actually played a vital role in building that company. I played a vital role in adding to the success story he is today. And what do I get in return? For all of my dedication and love to him, cruelty and betrayal. Sometimes I don't even know if success is a prospect. I don't think so. I don't know how he became the beast he is today. Hey, 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 please, please. I can't stand the lady cry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're beautiful and you deserve a constant smile on your beautiful face. You have me. And when you need a true friend to talk to, don't hesitate to call me. Ah, <laughs> Mrs. Williams. Yeah, good day, sir. Yeah, welcome. I decided to bring him home since no one came to pick him. Oh, Junior. Yes. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, my wife 
went on a very important function, so oh. I, I'm sure she will have oh. problems with traffic. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. <laughs> I would like to take my leave. Now. All right. Then. Okay. Thank you. Now, my regards to your wife when she came. Oh, I'll do just that. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you must say bye bye to Auntie. Virginia, say bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Thank bye. you so much, Mrs. Bye -bye. Williams. All right. Bye. So, um, what do I get you? No, nothing. I, I, I've had enough. We had a lot to drink and eat at the eatery, you remember? Yeah, excuse me, you just came to my place, so you should have something. <laughs> you know, also, what do I get you? But I'm fine. You know what? I know what to get you. Light bill, something very light. Okay. Just trying to get something proper for us to toast to our companionship. To friendship. Friendship it is then. Sometimes I think I drag myself to stupor. Okay, um, so why don't you take a rest today? I actually think I'm feeling woozy. I, I need to go home. No, 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 no. You cannot yeah. drive in this condition. You need to take a rest. Okay. Oh. 
You know, I'll just I'll just um, stay here for like ten minutes. I'll just need ten minutes no, to clean no, my hair. No. Oh my god, Listen, it's, it's really very hot here, right? It's not conducive for you to sleep here, so you need to just you know come stay in my room. It's okay. Okay. Do you have a guest room? Look, I'm a student, but I live in a two bedroom flat, so I have one. Huh? So you have a guest yeah, room? Yeah, All I right, fine. I can on. I can go to your guest All right, room. Good, good, no problem. All right, now yeah. I'm trying to get up. Uh, wow. There's a lot of alcohol in that stuff. Yeah, just this way. Take it easy, okay? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I got you. something you're not telling me. You know, I really should be freaking out right now. I mean, after what just happened, this is really weird. But I actually feel calm. This is not right. Oh. It's, something is really wrong. But trust me, nothing is wrong. It's actually called chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah. <laughs> this is trouble chemistry. No, no, no. It's actually sweet chemistry. <laughs> Who well, am I something something is called Sense Emilia? Sense Emilia? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> well, it's what you guys call um, marijuana. It <gasps> broke? <laughs> you took a substance? I know you're not hiding from civilization. Listen, that thing is good to me. If you're a student, you shouldn't be taking that. What? What do you think you're doing? I, I thought you said this woman here is your friend's wife. Oh, so you're not sleeping with your friend's wife? Yeah, Amanda, come on, slow down, okay? I mean, you're overreacting right uh -huh. now. Uh-huh. Look, let, let's do this outside, okay? This is wrong, all right? All right. You know what? There's nothing to sort out, okay? Because I've seen everything. I've seen everything! Fuck you! Okay, fine. Fine! I'll get back to you. Place. Does that explain why you should abandon my son at school? I did not abandon him. Okay. I actually left the place very early trying to go pick up Junior, but there was this terrible traffic on the on, on the way. I just got stuck. And I, I, I frantically tried to call your your line, but the network was bad. This won't repeat itself. Of course not. Come to think about it, I wondered 
uh, some potato chips. Ijoma didn't make anything for dinner. She didn't make anything for dinner. Oh. I'm sorry, that's because I, I didn't call her. I'll go fix something. Surprised, you know. You mean Peter has been sleeping with her all this while and keeps deceiving you. I mean that she's his friend's wife. Exactly. Though I didn't believe him, but I, I, I was looking for an opportunity to prove him wrong. Now it has happened. Men, men will always be men. And that's why I don't trust them. You know what? What? I am going to trace that all. I'm going to trace her to know who she is. Her family and husband. In fact, everything about her. And I, and I need you to help me. Huh? How? I'll tell you. Okay. Help me. Baby is not what you think, okay? It's not what I think. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Tell me what I think. Let go. I just... What happens is uh, I just, you know, I kind of... I, 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 I... You see, you can't even talk because you don't know what to say. Peter, just look at yourself. Just, just look at yourself. A young man with a bright future. You want to ruin your life by sleeping with another man's wife. Don't you know it's a cause upon yourself? I mean, Peter, attend lectures, you won't. Sit at home and study, you can't. Instead, you chose um, going about chasing another man's wife. Hey, come on, baby, slow down, okay? Slow down, look, I got you. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen again. Let that smile out. Come on, baby. 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 Let it out. Let it out. Let it out, baby. Okay, um. If you're sure it won't happen again. Of course, I'm sure it won't happen again. Come on, you want to be a big guy. I'm so much. No, I got you. I got you. I got you, baby. Are you sure? I'm sure, baby. Why is that a useless mother? Where is your mother? Excuse me, Mary, don't just barge in here and start pouring yourself. Who are you? Yes. She wants to know who I am. Yes. Abby, until I turn this shop upside down before you go and call her, Abby. No, no who is that? Ask me. No, you can't. Uh huh? No, no. You again? Mm -hmm. Don't give me that to I have come to warn you to stay away from my boyfriend, Peter. If I see you anywhere and inch close to him, I will show you the other side of him. This is just a woman. Will you get out of my store right now? Oh. She's less woman. Of course I will get out. Let me stick to your head. My get out! Already? You come come back here again next time, I'll break your two skinny legs. Oh my god, you don't scare me. What was that? I don't know. She was wrong, you know? You allowed a woman come into my store and start dancing all over the place. Why did you call the security? Take care of her. I'm sorry, ma'am. Don't ever let that happen in my store again. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Hello, Peter. Peter, can you hear me? Amanda, why would you do that? No, tell me, why would you do a thing like that? I mean, why, why, why would you go to Flora's shop and cause a scene there? I mean, you keep harassing her. Why would you do that? Um, is there anything wrong? Every single thing is wrong with it. What you did was absolutely unacceptable. I mean, why? Do you know she could have done something terrible to you? Mm -hmm. Do you know she could have actually called the police and said you were a robber? Do you know that? She dares not. I mean, by the way, why are you 
protecting her. Oh, oh, hold me. It's like you're still interested in that woman. Peter, Peter, if I see you anywhere close to her, I will do worse than that. Bet me. Listen to me. You're taking this thing too far, you understand me? You're mm -hmm. taking it too far. Oh, come on, you can say whatever you like. That is your business. I can say whatever I like. Yes. It's my business. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you better watch it. Watch it. You're going too far. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, you're working out, right? Okay. So, Peter is still interested in that woman. Alright. We shall see. Some will say they love you and pretend to care. So you better beware. Little girl. Yes. 
Peter, that little girl has become a threat to both our lives. Okay? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to quit the relationship with that girl. Because your life and my life are no more safe right now. Wait, hold on. You seriously want me to quit my relationship with Amanda? And why not? Go for it. Look, Amanda is... So look, she has been my guardian angel on campus, okay? She does everything for me. She's like my umbrella, my envelope. I mean, that girl has been going way back. Okay, not today. Come on, I mean, come on. I mean, because I've heard all of that before, okay? Yes, she's your supporter. She's your this. She's your that. She spends money. She helps you out in school. Okay. I'm going to make you an offer right now. Everything Amanda does for you, I will do double. Okay? I know she gives you money in school to help you out with your studies and all of that. I will put some money in your account, in your name. And what's more, I know that you've been agitating to have a car. Okay? So I will buy you the car. Now what do you say? Wait, hold on. <laughs> if I quit my relationship with Amanda, you're going to give me money. And you're going to buy me a car. You heard me. You know what, Amanda, you are gone, okay? Amanda, it is over. If I see you anywhere close to me, you are dead, okay? It is red flag, red ribbon, red card. Baby, are you happy now because Amanda is gone, gone, gone. Trust me. <laughs> that she's gone. <laughs> okay, I'm happy, at least for now. Until I see that she's truly gone and never in our lives again. Maybe she's gone. Trust then I'll be really happy. Maybe she's gone, like gone. Cool. So. So what? Uh, guess what? You tell me. I got you a little something, something. Is it? Mm-hmm. Will you get your legs off, you naughty boy? Uh huh. You would not believe this. You didn't see this coming. Yeah. <laughs> you got my boy. <laughs> you got my sensibility. Yeah. You got my shadow. <laughs> Man, you got that thing that's good to me. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know it's a member, but how did, how did you get this? Oh, so that's what you guys call it. Yeah. I'm a member. Yeah. That was it. I mean, I got turned back a couple of times when I was persistent. I went back. I made calls. I, I did my inquiries. I paid. I prayed. And I brought you your thing. Because I'm hopeful that you will do that. Nothing. <laughs> okay. I don't believe I'm talking like this. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I'm just going to do justice to this, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Off you go. Whatever you do, don't do it in front of me, please. Okay. Okay. Just go and come back the boy I want to see next. Okay, well, just go and trust me. You're gonna have to trust me. I'll be back with you. Our home. I'll be waiting. You got me senses. Here before, but there is no love anymore. Oh, it's broken. Our home is broken. We used to be happy every day, but happiness has gone away.
I said, come here, come. What is the time by your wristwatch? Ten thirty. Now is that the right time for a married woman to come back to her family? Grace wasn't feeling well and she called me to come. Oh, spare me! Grace! Grace! Oh, Grace! All the time! That's the sole excuse you've been given to me for the past three months for spending late nights outside. You're not ashamed. Are you not ashamed that you cannot even stay in your own home and prepare dinner for your man? Man, my foot. You heard me. So now you know. You know how it hurts for one to violate marital principles, eh? Now you know. You should have gone to one of your so-called to come and make your dinner. Male slut. Just call me. Mill slut. That's what you are. One more insult from me and you'll bring out the beast in me. Bring it out. You know, bring out the beast in you. My Tyson. You heard me. Mill slut. That's what you are. Jeremy. Don't, don't call hey, me. Are you ah. kidding me? Ah. Are you no, kidding me? No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Our home is broken Love used to be here before But there is no love anymore Oh, it's broken Our home is broken We used to be happy every day But happiness has gone away our home is broken. broken. Let's face the truth. It's broken. For me and you, it's broken. Our home is broken. Broken. You go your way. Broken. I go my way. It's broken. Our home is broken in two Broken What can I do? Broken I'm still in love with you Why do you want to know everything? Uh, is that supposed to be an answer to my question? All right, okay, it's my car. Your car? Yes, my car. Uh, wait, did you just say your car? Peter, I'm very sure you do nothing else than schooling. Uh, so, where did you get the money to buy this car? Hey, 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 hey. Look, I've had it to hear with you, you understand me? Look, I'm tired of you trying to know every single thing about me. You know what? This relationship, this thing we call a relationship, is over. You understand me? Over. What? Yes, you heard me. Over. I don't want to see you anywhere close to me. Do you understand me? Please get out of my compound. Amanda should leave your compound. You don't want to leave? 
All right, fine. Stay here, but don't you dare get into my apartment. You understand me? Don't. Peter! Peter, I am sure that one has poisoned your mind. Spoiled and deceived me with money. Okay, fine. She has gotten you right now. Peter, sooner or later you regret what you've done to your life. Can, can, can you just... Peter! Peter! What is... Honestly, I no longer feel safe in my apartment. You know what? To hell with that girl. Okay? I'll get you another apartment. Go out of town, scavenge, and pick any apartment you want. Let me know the price and I'll pay you. That's our new car. Come on, just take a look. This is our car. Yeah. Let's go. You mean this is our car? Yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, what is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I behaved when we had problems. Now I truly believe that no condition is permanent. It's okay, my darling. You see, anything that happens to a man in this world is a lesson. And I believe I've learned so many lessons. Okay? Oh, please, please just forgive it's me. It's okay. Please. I it's have forgiven sorry. you and I love you. Oh. Thank That's you. my baby. Okay. Just anything here right now, I will say, why don't you relax with what you have already? I mean, the woman in question bought you a car, paid in enough money to your account. Remember, she also promised to pay for a good accommodation for you if you find any. You are also sleeping with the man's wife. I mean, what else do you want from that family? Yeah, yeah, you don't understand. Don't make me understand. Then, dude, don't walk out that woman. Don't fuck with that woman. Don't understand. Don't walk out that woman. Let me feel So what do you want to do next? Oh, now go. Ask him. Listen. There's something I need to do for you. I'm going to pay you good money. Alright? This is what you want. I don't know what to do. That's going too far. 
no, 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 Please count me as a gamble. I'm not part of it at all. What do you mean? You know what to do. Yo, dude, 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 forget you're my best friend. I have men outside, bro. I have men in on campus with the right to go. I'm not saying you can ask me money, bro. Okay, stay. You don't want to do it. No, wait, wait, no, 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 So, 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 the just shake, shake, shake. Piro! Piro! I mean, this now. Nothing I get to double your pain. No, 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 Oh, 
Oh. What would I make her have done wrong? Who did he offend? Could it have been me? I just. Should I bring your food for you? Uh, what what food is that? Don't worry. Uh, go, go, go. Um, where did your auntie say she was going? Well, I don't know. I only saw her when she was going, and she told me that she won't be back tonight. She told you that she will not come back to this house tonight. Yes, but that is what she told me. Okay, all right. Suspecting I probably have behind her this day. Uh, please listen, they don't have any evidence. They have no evidence. Besides, these people never knew you had a problem with them. Yeah, but I mean, I still think that we need to, you know, just take things easy for now. Especially the next steps we take. Right now, I actually need to go find out where he deposited his cops. The shooting took place right in front of his office on the street. You know, come to think of it. Uh, why hasn't anyone called you to inform you of his death? I switched up my My husband, I just killed him, yeah, Peter. Gosh. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just wonder how I got to this point. You just have to look forward to the future. Bush. 
and they said they were trying to reach me through you. They were trying to kill you. And they kept me there all night till this morning. And all of a sudden, these boys came back into the bush and set me free, telling me that they have killed you. So that's why I was shocked when I saw you. There was an incident in my office. The maker has been killed. The maker, the mechanic. This is true. The maker is killed. He's dead. Confession. Let's see the family doctor immediately. Did they, did they hurt you? No. No. The maker, the mechanic, is dead. It's a maker they killed. What's a maker they killed? No, 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 it's impossible. No, it's so impossible. I mean, you mean he's alive? No, 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 I was there when he was shot. So it was a ghost I saw this morning, right? This is true. This is true. Look, I was there, he was shot severely. He should be dead by now. You know, he should be dead. Are you saying you didn't have any bullet wound? No, 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 something strange here. Something like what? Like what? Look, I, I, I think, you know, your husband uses some kind of charm to protect himself no. from gunshots. Trust me, it's something mysterious, something diabolic. He is not. You cannot say he is not. Come on, think, after being shot three times. <laughs> yes! But if you ask me, your own life is in danger. And you need to do something real, real fast, because if he can survive gunshots without a wound, you got to do something fast. What do I do? What do I do? Because right now I am scared and I am confused. What do I do? See, that's the point. I think he knew something. Exactly because the way he looked at me this morning, it has to be something on his mind. Husband is a contest. What?
Ijoma. Yes, auntie. Um, someone's at the door. Go get the door. to him? Well, um, after too much talk, actually, the police finally released his cops to his uh, people and I was able to give them some money for the bearer. Oh, but you know, God. it was a good day for me. Thank God. Have you taken anything? No, I took something. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fine. Don't worry. I don't just run along and, you know, go have a shower. I'll set the table. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> But why don't you join me? Oh, sweetie, you just run along. Let me prepare the table, okay? Come on. Alright. Junior, go with your daddy. Come on. Alright. Go! Oh, let's go have a shower. Come back to mommy and have dinner. Started like I told you. Are you sure you took to my instructions? Of course I did. What? You asked me to put this thing two pints with my with my, with my, my deal. Yeah. That's exactly what I did, but this freaking poison didn't work. You see it? Have you seen that that man is so so diabolic? Have you seen it? Oh please. This whole thing is becoming more and more sinister by the day. You know what? We just have to have a change of plan. No. No, no, that's it. I've had it. No more, no more. Look, this is becoming more and more horrifying by the day. I mean, look, ever since this whole journey started, my whole soul and mine has, has not been at peace. I, I can't do this anymore. Hey, 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 we can't stop now. Look, you just have to finish it. Yes, we have to. Your life is in danger. Have you forgotten? What if those guys had shot you and killed you? Huh? Will you tell me? Do you know you'd have been dead by now and you'd have been in your grave and your husband would have moved on and probably would have gotten himself married to somebody who attended your funeral? Come on! Yes, 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 like that. that is what could happen! Come on, think! Oh, Lord. You know, I have to go. I'll talk to you later. I'll show you the fine. I love it. God, this, this looks so professional. I, how did you do it? 
Oh, you put me up to it. And I have to deliver. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Seriously, this looks so professional. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for this? Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. Uh, I think it's time. Okay. Let's get the road. Your madam, uh, Mrs. Flora. Oh, 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 so fortunate. She just drove out now. Oh, God. You tell me I missed her. Um, please, do you have any idea when she'll be back? Because I have to get back to anyone today. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Call her now, or don't you have a phone number? <laughs> That's the thing. I have a low battery, and my phone is switched off. You know? And I can't, I can't even get to the house right now because there'll be no one there. You know, please do me a favor. Can you direct me to the way to the husband's office? I'm a little bit confused. It's better for me to tell him why I came. You know? Okay. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Um, what's the name again? Kitchen. Nice name. Have a nice sale. Bye. <laughs> Good day, sir. Yes, uh, young lady. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. What can I do for you? Uh, by the way, <laughs> where are you? I'm sorry. My name is Amanda. And I've come to beg you to please help me run your wife to leave my boyfriend for me. I mean, I've talked to her in a gentle way. She wouldn't listen. I've talked to her in a violent way. She wouldn't listen. That's why I came here to tell you to please talk to her before I do something nasty. You mean my wife, Flora, is dating your boyfriend? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, young lady, but this is spurious. How am I supposed to sit down here in my office and believe what you're sitting down there telling me? I know it's difficult for you to believe. It might also interest you to know that she bought him a new car and he's about to rent a new house for him. In here are all the proofs that you need. Please, beg her for me.
Yes. I was told you're calling me. Why are you looking at me like that? Or one of your girlfriends has um, <laughs> provoked you. Sit down. Thank you, I'm fine where I am. What is it? I said, sit down. Who is Peter? Hmm? I said, who is Peter? I don't understand. Who is Peter? I mean, Peter what? Peter... Peter who? You're asking me the same question I just asked you. Well, that's because I don't know what you mean by who, who is Peter. You didn't give us some name. Who, who is Peter? Peter who? You don't know who I'm talking about. Explanation. Hmm? You just bought him a car. Oh, yes. You're making efforts, I mean, frantic efforts. You get him accommodation, maybe a place where both of you can have now. Right? 
Listen, I'm your wife's boyfriend. You've been preventing me from having a wife, which is a bad thing. I know you're about kicking your wife out of the marriage and out of your house, right? 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 Okay, so you know what? I'm going to say without this because I now know you have Alright? So you have to say hi to my grandpa. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this new house. It is so beautiful. Okay, you know what? Um, Grace, there's a problem. Leonard came to the house today, ranting down the whole house. In fact, there is fire. Even brought pictures of Peter and I frolicking around the whole city. What? How did he come around such pictures? I don't know. I don't know, Grace. I suspect that he has somebody follows everywhere around taking pictures of, of Peter and I. Little Peter, I feel so sorry for you. But my dear, you know we just moved into this very big house now. And I'm still very busy with the interior decor as in designing the house to my taste. That's been a very, very big job for me. So, are you sick? I'm talking about my house. My matrimonial home. My, fa my family is on fire. You're telling me about the interior decor. What is wrong with you now? Can't you be serious for once? Oh you know, now that God has finally restored peace in my marriage and blessed my lovely, lovely, wonderful husband and I, I thought it would have to be putting my mouth in anybody's family problems. Huh. So you have to tackle your problems on yourself. Grace! I don't understand. What is going on with you now? Why are you talking like this? Do my you know my is scared, Abby? Do you not want to introduce me to you? Do you want to just hold it there? in my, in, in my marriage now? Hold it there. What is all this? You had a problem and you asked for my help. I only gave you an idea. The fact that I introduced you to Peter, did, did, did I tell you to go and start sleeping with him like a dog? Praise me, dog. Hey. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Thank you very much. All I know is that you're, you're a wicked woman. You're a wicked woman. You're a very wicked person. In fact, you're a demon, you're a bitch! That's what you are! You're a bitch! Come down, 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 don't shout, eh? Don't, don't shout now. You know what, don't, don't worry, just go, I'll, I'll find time and come and see you, eh? Don't worry. Grace, Grace, this is a very serious thing. I will come now. Grace, follow me, follow me. I will come, I will come, go, eh? My, my mother is on his ass, stay right now. I will pass! Don't worry, my dear, I will come and see you. Oh, God, not bad. Oh, yeah, I'm... you cry for it's never going to bring your husband back oh, please all right the reason why we women's kinsmen came from the village is to arrange to take his cups to the mortuary and fix a date for his burial but you are now telling us that the corpse is missing honestly we are not happy about it this is strange the people that murdered him and they carried his corpse. What are they going to do with his body? I don't know. I don't know. Or are they ritualists? <laughs> My husband. Um, Sarah. My husband. You said uh, that this young man here is the police officer investigating the matter. Yes, sir. An um, officer. Please, what is the best line of action? Uh, everything is in order. Um, we're making sure that the criminals are actually brought to face the world. Of the world. Ah! What? Leonard. Is it you or your ghost? Please, don't talk to us. Don't to us. Uncle, I'm alive. It's me. I am not dead. Officer, the 
This is the bastard that shot me. He connived with my wife to kill me so they can take over everything I have worked for all my life. What? Flora, that you turn around that this boy is the officer investigating this matter. Impersonation. Offense number two. Officer, please do your job. Do your job. Go and handcuff him immediately. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Mr. Leonard. I know this is the end of the road for me. I know I'm going to jail. But I'd like to tell you that the reason you've been having problems with your wife is because I've been feeding her with wrong and false information. Flora. The photographs. The girls who made the phone call at your shop. The men who tried to shoot you. And then I told you were from your husband. Everything was planned by me and my partner. Huh? Yes. Of course I have a part. She brought me into this. She initiated everything. My partner actually hates you so much for making her marry somebody who is not affluent. While you enjoy the riches in your marital bliss. <laughs> and you ask who this my partner is? Uh, oh, Grace, shut up. Let's go to jail together. Our home is broken. Love used to be here before, but there is no love anymore. Oh, it's broken. Our home is broken. We used to be happy every day, but happiness has gone away. Our home is broken. Let's face the truth is broken. For me and you, it's broken. Our home is broken into Ooh. 